Welcome to this video. Today we are testing ESET antivirus and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. 400 samples in total and we will be using these samples to see how well ESET does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. Before I get started I do want to mention if you like these type of videos where we test antivirus software and would like to continue seeing them on the channel we do kindly ask for your support. These type of videos do require a production cost and so we would ask if any of you are able to, to click the join button. There are multiple tiers, multiple benefits, but there's also just a support level for 99 cents a month. Any support would be greatly appreciated. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable all the real-time protection here in ESET. We'll let it sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's samples remaining after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Please note we are up to date. ESET's real-time protection is now enabled. Just please be aware there are a lot of granular settings and I did go through and make sure everything is enabled. You do have the option to make them more aggressive, but again, I'm just going to go with the default settings because that's what we're testing today. We'll go ahead and let ESET sit here for a few minutes and see what the results are. Several minutes have passed. Let's double check our samples folder. We're still at 400. Let's go ahead and run a scan and we're going to let this run until it's fully completed. All right, the scan has completed and let's double check our samples folder. We're down to 13 samples. Now it was requesting a restart. So before we scan the samples folder directly, let's go ahead and restart. After restart, we're down to 12 samples. And so let's go ahead and scan directly. Scan has completed and it looks like it came back positive. If we check the samples folder, we're down to 11 samples. Let's go ahead and execute. After execution, we now have more junk in this folder. So just for good measure, I'm going to give it one last shot. We're going to scan directly one last time. No detection. So at this point, we'll restart and run a second opinion scan. After restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes, came back with three results. So we'll go ahead and quarantine. I ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back positive. We're going to go ahead and quarantine. Now with all that said and done, we do have 40 items here in the samples folder. Most of that is from the garbage that was installed when I executed this sample. In fact, if I manually delete all the garbage that was installed from that one sample, that gets us down to eight. And again, it's this sample right here that's installing all that garbage. And when I run it through virus total, interestingly enough, it looks like a lot of solutions are missing that sample. Keep in mind that this is just one type of test. ESET very well may perform differently in other types of tests. However, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions. But that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.